Well, that was kind of a random, different kind of intro for a model railroad channel. But hey, <laughs> it's my channel. I can do that if I want. And I did, because it was fun. Anyways, uh, still got this stay at home order thing. So um, this is what I'm doing for today. I'm editing this actually and shooting it the day before I put the video up. Normally I got stuff ready to go before then. The last time, uh, well, in one of the last videos, I mentioned that I had another uh, Scott is here thing I wanted to share with you guys and I wanted to get that in. And also I got another one that actually includes some video. So that's kind of cool. So I want to get that in also. So you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jump right into it. This uh, is uh, from Chris, all right? I'm just gonna switch it over here. I wanna talk about this picture before I even say anything else. I think this is interesting because this is the first picture I saw in the email and I just love it because it's just this like pile of styrofoam on the floor. And we've all been there, I think, <laughs> you know? And it's like, it's like yeah, you know, it's a mess, but uh, uh, well, we know what's going on. It looks good. It's going to be cool. Uh, so anyways, this is uh, Chris. It says, uh, hi, Don, Don, Scott, and team. Um, I'm Chris, and I live in uh, Perth. Hopefully I say that right. Uh, Perth, P-E-R-T-H, Western Australia. Australia. I mean, we, we're talking about New Zealand. It's, they're like neighbors, but still, it's like barely the same planet we're on, or I'm on. <laughs> That's totally cool. Um, so anyways, let's see. You have international fame. <laughs> Scary. Um, I very much enjoy your videos, uh, so keep them coming. Here are a few photos of my HON3 uh, NMR No Money Railroad and some background on its construction. The project was started pre-GFC, which I think is Global Financial Crisis, uh, which also stopped the project, hence the name NMR No Money Railroad. That's cool. It's good. As far as I know, uh, my bench work is unique. Let me see if I can actually go through this a little bit. And I saw this and this is this is really cool. I have never seen this before. Uh, maybe this will give some people some ideas. I think it's brilliant if you have the ability to do this. Uh, it is made from 25 millimeter square aluminum tubing with plastic corner joiners with the road base being uh, marine plywood. Um, I skipped a few little parts in here, but I'd say another advantage of wood was that each mod module was about half the cost. I think doing the uh, the aluminum like that. So that's uh, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I plan to show it at the local model railroad expo each year. Uh, so it needed to be light and portable, but also rigid, which is why I chose the bench system. Again, this, it's kind of a mobile layout. He needs to move it around. He's using aluminum and it's like, uh, it's actually like riveted together. Um, that's fantastic. I think that's pretty cool. A brilliant idea, especially if you're going to be moving it around. Um, yeah, that's, that's cool. So uh, let's see, I plan to show it, uh, talk about that. Yeah, so let's look at a couple of the other ones. So uh, let's see, last Christmas and my family convinced me to stop uh, working all the time. Hmm, wish my family would do that for me. Uh, so I started back on the project to have some uh, to have some me time and stop dreaming while watching guys like you building your railroads. So that's cool. You know what? If you're thinking about doing a layout, well, just start. Doesn't matter if it's small. Let's go do something. Um, now that I am renting and space is more limited, I cut the module into two end pieces. So uh, that's kind of what this shows here. I think. Uh, you cut it in two, two pieces and you can just like clamp it together and it all lines up perfect and stuff. So that, uh, again, that's really cool. So, uh, oh, and look, uh, there is Scott. Scott is there in Australia. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Down the center is a divider with a, which divides the scenes. It will have a uh, lighted balance that will look like floating above the layout. One side there will be a small town, station, good, uh, goods depot, cattle yard, and engine shed. The other side is a canyon since uh, seen with a river. I may add a mine here as well. One end loop has a tunnel, trestle bridge, and the other uh, end is less hilly and will be covered with trees. So, 
This is cool, and he didn't mention this in the email, but I noticed that these are uh, wood blocks for buildings. They might just be stand-ins, but I do know people that actually uh, use wood blocks to actually build their buildings out of. They just you know slap some siding on the sides, throw some windows on, and, and it's good, and it, they look great. So uh, I'm not sure if that's what he's doing, but that's cool, I noticed that. And uh, here's some of the canyon area. This is cool, I like it. And all the styrofoam, again, all the styrofoam on the floor, that's, <laughs> I just think that's kind of funny. And here you can kind of see down both sides. This is gonna be a, a neat looking layout. And then a nice uh, trussle and whatnot here. So, this is cool. I like this. Now, on to this other email that I got a little more recently. I only checked the email just <laughs> like earlier today, so I didn't get to, to this earlier. But uh, name's Martin, all the way from Yorkshire in the UK, United Kingdom. That's still kind of on the other side of the world. It may be a different planet still in New Zealand and uh, Australia, but. It's far away, that's pretty cool. So, uh, I have one picture from him, um, but I'm gonna read the email. Scott is here, and, in, and his presence is noted in many places across my layout, but you will have to watch my video to find the posters. Uh, your layout is very uh, inspirational, even though it's not British. That's cool, that's fine. Uh, so anyways, this is his YouTube channel. I am I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong, but a uh, Bramley model railway, railway, I know railway. Uh, so you know what, go check out his channel, watch his videos and uh, just, you know, subscribe, like them or whatever, uh, you know, even if it's British, <laughs> but that's cool, it's okay. Um, so this is the video he's talking about. Uh, I left a comment on it just a little bit ago. And, uh, I noticed he's got some like really clean wiring going on here um, and that's cool, especially <laughs> if you've seen underneath my layout. Um, so that is uh, pretty cool. I want you to go check out that layout, uh, his YouTube channel. I'll put the link to that YouTube video in the uh, description down there. And uh, you know what? We will definitely be getting out to our layout room at some point in time. And uh, you know, we're just gonna be patient and I'm just gonna put out little videos here and there. What I've been working on, I've been it's been kind of nice. I haven't been doing a lot of video editing lately, so kind of spending more time with the family and whatnot. So, um, but I'm still getting getting you a little bit of something out there. So anyways, uh, that's it. I, I, I barely planned this video out. So I guess that's probably the end of it. So you know what, subscribe. Um, I'll ring the little bell thingy to get notifications when new videos come out. And uh, again, like I said, we will eventually go back out to the train room Lots of stuff to do. Check out some of our old videos. Maybe check out the playlist. Uh, a lot of fun stuff out there. So, thank you for watching. And we'll catch you at another point in time. Goodbye.